All right, this is going to be a video on how to use Twine. So Twine is an interactive storytelling website, or you can use it to make games, choose your own adventure stories. Its biggest claim to fame was in the Netflix show Black Mirror, uh, the Bandersnatch episode, where you can choose your own paths. Uh, that is uh, probably its most famous application. So it can be used for a lot of stuff, but to get to it, it's just twinery.org, or you can just Google it and find the website. Um, you can use it on your desktop, on your computer, but most people just use it in browser. That's what we're going to do. So we're going to click use in browser. When you come into Twine for the first time, uh, it will just be blank. So uh, there'll be nothing to open there, but instead you're going to click new and you are going to name your story something that makes sense. Um, I'm going to just name it something relevant. I'm going to name mine like dog story. Uh, as an example here, you'll name it whatever uh, you're doing. We're going to hit create. And when you come into Twine, there's a couple different options here. So uh, just some basic movement controls. You scroll up and down with your scroll wheel on your mouse to go up and down. If you right click and drag, that's how you pan. You can left click and drag the a box to select the different passages here. Uh, and you can also click and drag on the passages to move them. So uh, Twine's biggest feature is that it gives you choice. So I'm going to double click on the passage. And here's where you write your story. So you can put different media in this box. You can do text, images, GIFs, links. Uh, we're going to start pretty basic. So the idea behind Twine is that you make some sort of story or interactive experience. So if I'm just going to give an example here, uh, we would do a very basic story or something along those lines. So if I write a little bit of a story here, uh, you wake up in your bed and you see a dog in your room. Uh, however, you don't own a dog. So um, now to get out of this editor window, which you have a lot of options in here, but you can just hit X. So I can see I have something in there, but to preview this, this game or media, we're gonna go to story, or we're gonna go to build rather, and hit play. You're gonna notice that in a new tab, it opened your story. So this is what your story looks like so far. It doesn't look too exciting. Um, it is a black background with white text, that's the default. But you'll see here, this is the story. So. Uh, it opens it in a new tab, so you can just always exit out of the new tab. I'm going to double click back in. And now here's where things get a little bit smarter. We can do some different options. So uh, each option has to be surrounded in double brackets. So I'm going to open double brackets, and then I'm going to type an option. So you might say, you pet the dog. Oops. Close double brackets. And as I do that, you'll see it creates an option there. Now you can have as many options as you want. So I can do, you pet the dog, um, you open your door and shoo the dog out. Maybe I do a third one. You can, again, you can do as many as you want. Um, you say, hello to the dog. As long as you're in double brackets, it will make a choice. Single brackets won't work, but double brackets will. So let's exit that out and let's go back to the play again. And you're gonna see now I have clickable options that I can click on. Now, of course, when I click on the options, nothing is in there because I haven't wrote anything in these passages yet. So let's do uh, one more option here. So you say hello to the dog. I might write, oops, the dog. Uh, looks back at you and stares. And again, if I wanted to, I could do more options here. You laugh at the dog. Or maybe you pick the dog up and walk out of your room. And again, it will generate those options as you make them. So uh, you could make an entire game based off of this, uh, just using text and not changing anything. But if you want to get a little bit fancier in Twine, uh, you can 
uh, do so. So uh, I'm just going to go over some basic things to make your games a little bit fancier or media or whatever you're making. So in order to add pictures to Twine, we use a little bit of HTML, which is the language that is used to uh, create websites. So I'm doing a game about dogs. So I'm going to find a dog image on Google. I'm going to use a little pug here. And if I right click, uh, and you're going to copy image address, you're not going to copy the link address, not, you know, copy image, it's copy image address. And then to put the picture in, you are going to double click and you put the picture where you want it. So if you want the picture after the choices, you put it here. If you want it before the paragraph or in between the paragraph, you put it here. I think I'm going to put my image right here. This is a good spot. So uh, in order to um, put an image in, we use a little, we use what's called the HTML tag. HTML tags begin with a less than sign and you're going to type the following and it has to be exactly how I type it. No capitals, the spacing that I use, it's image, I-M-G, S-R-C, equals, and then you're going to do a quotation mark, a paste in with control V, the link, close your quote, close your tag with a greater than sign. So now I have a link in there. It changed colors so you know it worked. So let's go to play. And now look at that. Our image is in here. Now this is a pretty big image, so I might want to resize it. So if you want to resize images, you just go right after the last quote and the greater than sign, and you just do this uh, with equals and then in quotes again you put a number like we do 200 pixels maybe let's see what that looks like that's too small so i might do 400 and it's up to you how big or small you want these that's a good size for me so now i have an image i have my options here so uh that's how you do images if i wanted to make my text a different color so let's say um, I'm in this passage, whoops, I'm in this passage, and I want to make this text a different color, because currently it's just white. The way this is done is, uh, you do open and close parentheses, and then in there, you do the following. You do text dash color, and then you are going to do a colon, and then you just type uh, the name of a color, so like red, oops, red. And now the only thing you need to do here is these go in single brackets. So now let's look at this. So if you want to preview it from, not from the beginning, but from this one, you, you click on it and then you go to in, uh, passage test from here. So look at that, that text is now red. Okay. So that's how you change text colors. You could do any color here, you know, blue, whatever you need to do, um, and it will work, okay? Um, you also have something called text styles here. So let's look at another piece of text. You laugh at the dog. Uh, the dog looks sad. Now, I can do a text style. Styles in Twine are pretty cool. Um, it's kind of the same format as color, so parentheses, oops. Not those parentheses text dash style colon and um you can use any one of these styles so let's use and they're all listed here when you do it so let's use rumble and see what happens text style rumble again we need to have um these need to be in quotes you'll see it's red you need to put the styles in quotes and you do still need a single bracket around this. Okay, so let's look at what happens if I test from here. That's gonna make the text rumble, okay? So there's a lot of these styles. Um, you know, you can feel free to, when you type text style, it will list them all. So they're there for you to use. Um, but let's say I wanna use a style and a color. Well, the way to do this is um, you can, um, do this by just adding a plus sign and then 
you can do the thing text color red close it and now let's do test from here now it's red and it's rumbling so that's how you do that use a plus sign okay um so that is how to put a picture how to do text color how to do text style um, there is other stuff. So uh, another basic one is maybe you want to change the, the the background color. Maybe you don't want like black or maybe you want white or red or whatever color you want. So to do this um, is uh, a different way. You have to actually go to the style sheet up here. So it's in story uh, style sheet. <clears throat> And this is going to be straight up CSS, which is also used in web development, but this is how you do it. It's TW-Story, and then you do a little curly brackets, and you do background-color, colon, and then like you do whatever color you want, like red. Okay, and then you do a little semicolon. So now, when I hit... Uh, play, oops, okay, test works too, play or test. Now it's red. Now that be that looks very visually hard to look at, um, but, uh, you know, you can change it to whatever you want. Um, so that's that. Um, that is a very, very basic overview of Twine. That'll be enough to get you started to make choices, to do pictures, to put effects on texts, change background colors. Uh, we're going to go over some more advanced uh, uses for this in other videos.